<laughs> evening, guys. How are y'all this evening? So it's Key and Frank here tonight. Um, Hello. <laughs> rudely just cut me off. Anyway, um, so tonight we're actually doing something a little different. We decided that we're going to cook tonight and discuss the topic. Why not do something different? Um, so tonight's topic, let me get around him. That's kind of just crazy that I'm talking to you guys. And so tonight's topic that we're, we were going to discuss was, um, what is an appropriate age to train your children? What do you guys think is an appropriate age to train your children or train children period when it comes to self-defense and or, um, self-defense weapons uh and um what is it i can't even think oh my god i'm so sorry so um using weapons of any sort even guns what do you think is the appropriate age and is it wrong i mean is it right is it wrong i mean what do you guys think um for us we have chosen to train our children starting young, quite honestly. Um, I think our oldest, well, you guys know that first of all, we have six children. Let's just put that out there as a reminder. We do have six children. Our oldest oldest is 18. Um, our second oldest is 14. So when I say oldest, I am basically referring to our 14 year old because as you guys know, our 18 year old is not with us physically. Um, she resides with her mom. However, uh, when we started training our children for uh, using self-defense and firearms and or any other weapons, we started them young. Mm, our oldest, I would say at the time, I think was about eight. Yeah. Yeah, about eight. Um, and we started them off with body self-defense first. We did body self-defense first. Um, and of course, people from the outside always, they don't see the behind the wall of training and things. They just see what you show or what you post up. For example, we posted videos and things like that. So people were judging off of what they saw per the video not per se how we went into detail and how we got the children to the point that they were in the video. Yep. Um, so there was a lot of judgment and a lot of disappointment, a lot of questioning and a lot of you shouldn't do that. It, we had all of that, which is fine. Every, to each his own, everybody has their own opinion. Um, needless to say, let me back up some here. Needless to say, um, yeah, just thank you. There we go. All right, guys. Can you guys hear me? I hope you guys can still hear me. Um, needless to say, when... Just switch over just a little bit so I can stand here. Sorry. Needless to say, we did the body we did the body training and self-defense with the girls, and they picked up very fast and easy with that. They really did. They did pretty good with that. Um, they took it on faster than we expected, quite honestly. Um... Where the debate and the complications came in was when we introduced the firearms to the children. That's something that I introduced. We, well, we both introduced, but I learned it due to being in the military. Um, I wanted to, basically we chose to get our children into it because we have girls. Mm -hmm. We don't have boys. I'm not using that as an excuse, but girls are more prone to, you know, being a attacked, attacked or or more they're more vulnerable. You can say. Um, shoot, I'm looking for something, but I can't find it. <laughs> he don't know what he's looking for. Oh, um. okay, yeah, they're more prone to attack, get intact. You know, the children don't know, like girls don't know how to. Like do mainly things like when it comes to fixing cars or or doing um like stuff around the house. I even know some women don't even know how to pump gas, believe it or not. 
I do too. And that that shocked me. It was like, what? <laughs> yeah, they don't know how to pump gas. That yeah. But um, but yeah, we 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 um, I was sitting down one day. I was like, you know what? I'm I should train the girls, our girls. We should train our girls into um, self defense. If it even if it even, not even just uh, weapons. We was um, like firearms. We was doing. I was training them with knives or combatives or. That's what I thought. That's what I said. Oh yeah. Well, oh yeah. Or like we was. Uh, I was showing them how to like. Um, what to do if an intruder comes inside a home, stuff like that. How to clear a room? Clearing room, basically, that's a, a, a uh, military term. A military term that somebody's in the room, you clear the room with a weapon or whatever. Um, but I'm not gonna go into depth with that. But um, I, I started training them. Now, I took my skill of the, from the military and please. implemented it at home. Yes. And, and to where they were trained. And yeah, like my wife said, we posted up videos to show them what we was doing, show people how we was doing things to the girl. And, and we got a lot of uh, criticism. Yeah, we did. We, like to where they was like, they're too young. Why would you do that? Why would you introduce them to that? They, they obviously are scared. She said it in the video. You know, it was just everything. But however, with that being said, no one, again, no one took an initiative of how we got to that point and how much training and how much time it took to get the girls to that point. We didn't just wake up one morning and say, hey, here, take this gun, pick it up, this, you aim it, you do this, and this is how it works. We didn't do that. It took years. We trained them over the years. Again, when we started, our daughter was only about eight, which means the twins at the time was six. So... By the time that they really got into grasping everything, it was about four or five years later that we decided to post up the video and um and show you know show what what skill they you know they picked up and how good they handled the weapon. Yes, okay. So in one of the videos, when I say uh, they were scared, in one of the videos, and of course, this is this was it wasn't their. <sighs> It was their second time handling a, a pistol in their hand for, for, for comfort. So when we did it video wise, they kind of was like shocked. It, it caught them off guard because it was like, wait, we doing this on video? Like, oh my God, okay, I don't, I, you know how everybody, when people get on video, they freeze up, they tend to freeze up and it's like, oh wait, what am I supposed to do now? You kind of forget. So that's kind of the same thing with the children. And not only that, it's a weapon. It's a weapon. Anybody who's first and fresh of learning how to handle a weapon and holding a, a weapon in their hand, of course they're going to be afraid. So in the, the video, recoil, the recoil. my daughter stated, wait, I'm scared. I don't, I don't want to do this. And I was like, okay, take a deep breath, put the pistol down, you know, whatever. Regroup yourself. Once she regrouped herself, let me tell y'all, baby girl picked up that thing and used it like she was a 007 agent. You hear me? So... When when people were judging and making assumptions, it was just like, hey, you know, sometimes maybe come and ask questions first. Just don't go off of what you see in a video because at the end of the day, what we choose to do with our children is not malicious. It's not malicious. It's not a malicious thought. Um, my mom was against it at first. She really was, you know, she was, my mom is, my mom is not a fan of pistols or, or any type of firearm, which is understandable. So she was against it at first, but once she started to see exactly how we do things and how we implemented everything, it was like, okay, I see what y'all doing. Y'all got this. All right. I'm, I'm good with it now. I'm cool with that. Like I'll go to the, I'll go to the range and sit with y'all too. So it, sometimes you have to step back and just look or ask questions first. And not only that, we came from an area where violence, gangs, drugs, and all of that is 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 the shit, as they say. It's 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 what it is. You know what I mean? So we took that an initiative too. If our children decide to what is it, be be peer pressured or things like that, we wanted them to know the right and not the wrong. Because you have these people out here, these children out here, parents too, out here. Busting guns, popping, and I got my ranch or whatever they want to call it, but not near one of them know how to properly handle 
or use a weapon. Yep. At all. Yep. So here it is. You can sit here and you can encourage them gangbangers and your nephew and your cousin who's out there busting guns and da 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 da. But yet, here you have children who are being trained properly. Know how and, to. And know 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 the the consequences and know the the details of how to use a weapon. And I'm not just saying, oh, you look through the iron sight and you shoot. No, when I tell you, we tell them from from the breakdown of how a pistol is, how is made and how weapon. it's clean. All of that. We went through all of that. All of that stuff was trained to our children. That was the first step. The first step was that book. What is it? That book education. You have to get to know the knowledge of something before you can put your hands on it. So all, when I tell you it took years, that's what I mean. It took years because we had to take the time to teach them every little detail, every little detail. And then we did mock training. So with mock training, we were using things around the house, like a remote control and and um, they little toy toy uh baby dolls and stuff. We didn't have toy guns for them. We didn't we didn't we they're girls. So whatever we thought was uh something of an object to to replica a, a pistol, that's what we used around the house. So that's what we started off with. It was okay. Act like pretend this is a pistol. This is what it does, and this is what you do. What do you do? It was things like that. Then we upgraded. From, from that point, we bought air assault pistols. From the air assault pistols, that's when it gives them more of a trigger reaction feel. It gives them it gives them the whole, what do you say? The whole um, feel, the real live feel of, right, the real mm -hmm. live feel of what a pistol really does. So from that, we went to... Well, let me know, say something, because uh, people were like, really, an air assault, a BB gun? They, you, you probably, you guys probably thinking like you're not gonna get the real feel of that from a BB gun. Actually, you can. Versions. There are different versions. There are different uh, uh, BB guns that shoot for. They have the blowback, and uh, um, some BB guns actually have higher. Um, what is it? Air velocity. That can it, it, it shoots much harder. So you're gonna get that re that same resistance in a like a, a like a, from a rip of a gun when you have a recoil. You're gonna get some of that in a BB gun as well, depending on the BB gun. So yes, there are BB guns out there that are, are real. But like my wife was saying, uh, we yeah we basically the topics about when should be the right time for a parent to train somebody or is it right? On our on our end, yes, I think it's right. Is there a right time? No, there, I don't think there's a right time. You just do it whenever. You feel like doing it. They got, they got because, no. Because you technically don't have to even implement the weapon itself. You can physically just book train your children. You you can tell them these things. You can show them videos. You can show like you don't have to physically give them the knife or the firearm and t train them if you're not comfortable and if they're not comfortable with it. But we knew what our children were comfortable with. Not only that. We always include our children in anything that we, we have an idea or a thought of doing. It's not like, okay, daddy and mommy thought about this. We're going to do we gonna do firearm training and y'all going to do it. It wasn't like that. It was, hey, we were thinking that we should do X, Y, and Z. How do you girls feel about that? Of course, there was some, oh, wait, I don't know. Is that safe? Is that okay? Can we do that? Of course we had that. But once we sat down and started breaking everything down with them and letting them know and showing them things, again, book training them first, they built that confidence and that comfort to say, okay, we're ready for the next level. We want to try to use a weapon. So um, to us, for us, we felt comfortable with our children learning. We felt comfortable teaching our children. We felt comfortable at the age we started them because, again, like I said, we came from a background where that was encouraged in all the wrong ways possible. Not only that, the world is changing. The world has changed. And a lot of bad things have been going on in people's neighborhoods, environments, cities, town, and et cetera. Especially in our, in our area where we live. We live in a good area, don't get me wrong, but it, them good areas be having a little undercover things too. So we took that in perspective too. If right. something was to happen, Today, tomorrow, tonight when we're sleeping, 
Do you really feel comfortable with your children freezing up and panicking and don't know how to get themselves out of the house or get their siblings out of the house or come and run and wake you up to get you all out of the house or to alert you in enough time where you as a parent can grab your pistol or any type of weapon or whatever it may be to defend your family? Mm -hmm. So that's what we took in consideration. Children tend to freeze up when anything happens. They freeze up, they go hiding, or they walk into danger because they don't know. Mm -hmm. So we had to take all of that into consideration. And with that, it was like, okay, this is how it works. If you get scared, don't freeze up. I need you to think with a clear mind. It's okay to be afraid. We're not telling them don't be afraid because, of course, you're going to be afraid. But we don't want you to be afraid and can't think. And because focus. when you can't think and you're afraid, you do all the wrong things possible to get yourself and everyone else hurt. So we had to train them on that, too. Mentally, we had to train them, too. Um, now, okay, wait. Before you say that, I'm just letting you know, I always like to start this in the beginning. We are not counselors. I forgot to say it. Yes, we're not we counselors. forgot to say that. Sorry. We are not experts. I'm just going off of what Don't we do. Don't have a license or a certificate. It's just natural. Something yes. we went through. The, is, this is our experience, personally. Now, for this topic, I am profession in some of it not i'm not an expert but i have training i have military training and also other sorts of training when it comes to yeah let's not get into detail doing other stuff um but yeah as well basically we both have that background um yeah personal wise and work wise we both have that background um, so, you know, we have that skill behind us both. But, uh, that's something I wanted to say before. So people, people will hate on you because you're doing certain things or you, you're training your children a certain way. They got those, I, I, I don't know if it's okay. It's, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not racist or anything, but you got those white folks out there training their children. Yes. At a young ass age. I mean, as soon as they come up, the, the, the cool cat, they want to train them. They want to train them in a a a a, 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 a war type manner, a tactic. They got their first gun at one year one year of age and all this stuff. Yeah. But when us black people decide to do it, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's wrong. Now, again, we trained our children to do those things because of many certain reasons that my wife said. But we just not, just didn't do training. I also teach them how to fix cars. Um, computers, computers, certain things with computers. You no, know, I'm the kitchen girl, so this, this, I teach them to cook it. Certain, co uh, certain computers, because um, a lot of people don't know about computers nowadays. Like, you don't go on a certain site, you don't click on this. You know, your your phone is being tapped, such on and so on and so on. Um, so we teach them life skills, period, all the way around, even medically. Um, I study medical. I haven't pursued it completely like I want to, but I'm not. But I'm not finished. However. I study medical, so I implement that into my children as well. So it's just a whole lifestyle thing that we just implement all together. Um, like I said, we had judgment. Everybody has something negative to say. Some people have something positive to say. And by all means, everybody has the right to their opinion. But I looked at it this way, like I said before. I do not want my children to ever have to freeze up and be in a situation where they do not know how to react, protect, or defend themselves. Yep. It doesn't have to be at home. It doesn't have to be at a, a school. It could be anywhere. It can be anything that could happen. I want my children to be able to think and react mm -hmm. to, to protect themselves and anybody else around them. That was my whole main, that was our whole main thing. So needless to say, what at this time and age, we kind of fell off a little bit because of work, one, and then I had a baby. So life kind of took over, and we kind of fell off on getting them, taking them back to the to the range. However, my children have not felt fallen off on their skill. I can tell you that. Um, it got to the point where we was able to spring roll, physically train them, like get their body, their uh, what is it, their the heart rate up. We was able to train them. This is how good they got. We was able to train them to get their heart rate up and then respond and pull a trigger. Oh, like, yeah, it's uh, work, it's working, called, like, tra I'm training a, a, a condition where 
saying basically you're you're, you're running, you're or, running something. or having to shoot and you got to control your heart rate and your breathing and stuff like that in so order to focus. make an accurate in order to make an accurate shot because when you, you know obviously for the people that um when you're shooting obviously you got to learn how to breathe breathing is a uh a, 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 a main okay. thing that you have to learn to control while shooting because your breathing can throw off your your shot or your your grouping or whatever it may be Big so song. so we can uh yeah so basically we was teaching them how to you know like work under pressure we'll make them do like jumping jacks or push-ups mm -hmm. then they would have to shoot the target and and we did it we did it in a challenge too like uh one was at one target the other was at the other target and they were timed they had to clear the weapon reload and shoot again after doing um getting their heart rate up um oh guys i know you probably was like what is that she cutting up so we're i'm making squid tonight with um some spring rolls and i probably have some pasta yeah we're gonna do pasta and the sauce over it well yeah if i said that correct we're gonna have pasta with squid and some spring rolls uh, whatever <laughs> um so you know that's what that that's that's another thing that we was able to get them on that type of level and again like i said it took time it has taken years today my daughter is 14 year old 14 years old and the twins will be 13 in two more months so that tells you a lot from eight well from six eight all the way to 14 and 13 that's a big that's a big lot that's a that's a lot of training that's a lot of time of training and don't get me wrong we're not done training we, we continue to train them even if we don't get the chance to take them to the range we still have them sit down conversations and try to pick their brain and say okay boom quiz question how do you dot 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 with a web dot dot whatever it is whatever the question is that we have that comes off of our mind we expect them to shoot that answer back and they do which tells me that they have not forgotten. Even if we don't get to take them physically, we still keep their minds sharp and ready and prepared at all times because again, you never know what happened, you never know what may happen, and my children, our children, we feel, need to always be mentally ready and know what to do and how to do it. Uh huh. Um, by all means, everybody's different. If you choose that weapon is not for you or whatever, just, all of this that we're discussing is not for you and your family. That's your choice, your opinion. But ser seriously, um, comment, comment below it and just give us your thoughts. Give us what you think. Give us your opinion. We're open to opinions. We're open to questions. We're open to thoughts. We're open to answering questions, whatever it may be. But I just, just bottom line, don't be judgmental. Don't be judgmental and don't be, uh, negative to someone else's decisions and or choices mm -hmm. i'd rather you approach me and ask me than to say that's just wrong you shouldn't do that you or say your that child is wrong your child is too young don't don't come at me that way because meanwhile while you're telling me what my children are not supposed to be doing your child is sitting over there in the gang smoking weed and shooting guns that he he or she don't even know how nothing about so let's really not go try to judge one one person from another and i'm not one to throw that in your face if that's what you choose to do with your child that's what you choose to do with your child but just know that my child is going to do it the right way and i'm not saying my child my children are perfect because god forbid when they get older who's to say that they might change their mind and do things maliciously again that's their decision and that's their punishment that they're going to have to face because now they're grown and they chose to take the decisions to their own um, direction. That has nothing to do with the parents. Mm -hmm. Especially if we're sitting here and we're producing, we're, we're teaching you the right way and we're showing you the right way and we're making sure to implement the right things to you the right way. So if you decide to be a gangbanger in 20 years or five years from now when you get out of college or while you're in high school, that's on you. Just be ready for the consequences. Or whatever it is that you choose to do that is wrong. Be ready for the consequences. And don't look for mommy and daddy to save you. Because I already told my children. Whatever you do that you know is wrong. And you put yourselves into. That's on y'all. Mm -hmm. Don't look for us to save you. Because we're not going to do it. Nope. You have to suffer and learn from them consequences that you chose to make. Because we already told you. The decisions you make is what, what determines what your life is going to be like today and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So my children do know that. Um, yeah, but that's all really I have to say about that. Yeah, so, 
So for me to answer I'm the question, talking. I'm sorry, y'all. I just like to talk. The answer to that question, basically, I don't think there is no no uh, certain age or time you should train your children with um, tactically or defensively. And the again, we got household. again we got girls. Girls are prone to 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 do they. In I, this think, world, I think it's both, but yes, women, us girls, we, are, we are, are the targets. Yes, we are their targets, and I don't want my children to be that one to be uh, unable. Can't, um, yeah, unable to not defend themselves during, say, date rape, or can't defend themselves when a they're fight. a fight, a fight, yeah, a fight, or if, um, or can't defend themselves when it comes to like, um, shoot, when it comes to like. Um, your car breaking down, they got they got called AAA. No, my children are gonna go in the back of their trunk, get out their jumpsuit, and start fixing the car if they need to. They're not gonna be that one to where, oh, I, I don't know how to pump gas, can you pump the gas for me? Oh, hell no, 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 no. So, uh, back to the thing, basically, there's no age. Train your, I, I just, I expect people to train their children. This, this world nowadays, you gotta be careful. It, and the way they kidnapping these kids nowadays, mm -hmm. literally in our area where we live at, it has been a few kids that have gone missing sadly. And it, it's, it, it sucks. It's heartbreaking. So, you know, that opens up your eyes a lot. And it opens up your children's eyes a lot, especially when you make them aware of their surroundings. Um, oh, surroundings. So with that being said, that's just the bottom of the pan. With that being said, we also do something like when we go into um, public, our children' first job is to identify all exits. All exits. All exits. And cameras. Everything. Yes. And know how and 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 know and your uh your, your safe escape plan. Your safe room. Your the, the safe room. In other words, like. In case something may happen, and you can't get out, you can't get out. Go. Where are you gonna go? Is that exit that person? That point has to be a one way in and one way out. Mm -hmm. So we play, you know, we play games like that. And the best place to do that is usually like in a mall and in a, in a movie theater. We started them off in a movie theater at first. Then we upgraded and started doing the mall, then restaurants, like anywhere we went. It was like okay. We've been in here for five minutes. How many cameras have you seen? Where are the exits? What is such and such? Where is where is where's the employee entryway door? Like we ask them things like that because that's important. Those are those things are important. And again, these are things that you can be teaching your children without weapons. If you're not comfortable with weapons, this is another learning lesson that you can teach your children because mm -hmm. they need to know how to get away and how to read people's body language. Yes. We that's, do that too. That's, a, that's, a, uh, that's a good one as well. Reading somebody's body language and seeing if they're fidgety, what they're doing, reading somebody's stance. Mm -hmm. A person's stance, believe it or not, will tell you a whole a lot. A whole lot. Like, mm -hmm. if a person is standing and they blink, they're talking to you like this, that 99% of, 95 of the time, something. no, they're a fighter. Fighters usually blade themselves off. If they stand in like a square, square and if they if they're standing like this and fidgeting and moving around, something's up with that person as well. Mm -hmm. So we teach them how to uh, read, identify. Or identify, identify people, as well as like if they decide to walk home from school and they they they, they got a, I told them to notice cars. Oh yeah. Uh, re memorize license plates. <laughs> if they get kidnapped, memorize the person Something. that is t taking you mm -hmm. height. Hair color, skin color, all that sorts, all those sorts of things. The last location where you was at, like trade, you know, landmarks. Remember things like that. See that me that that's my that's my that's my strength right there. I've always, even when I was younger, I walking to the store and things. I always had a habit to pay attention to the cars passing by me, always. And I could tell you how many times that one car out of fifty thousand cars that passed us then ran past us too many damn times. And I st I'm still like that. And it's crazy that you brought it up as far as um, paying attention to people's uh, body language and stuff. Mm -hmm. So just recently, um, our girls was uh, at Walmart. We were all at Walmart. No, I think he was already gone. Oh, he might have been home. One or the other. But it was myself and the three older girls. We went to Walmart. And on this particular day, they didn't want to get out the car. And I'm like, okay, you sure y'all want to stay in the car? Which I'm fine with that. I always lock the car and I take the keys or whatever just to make sure, whatever, whatever. 
Everybody has their own options. You feel comfortable leaving your keys in the car? By all means. If you don't, don't. Um, they always, you know, we keep phones available to everybody just in case something happens. And if you know, if, if something ain't right, they know to pop that lock, get out the car and go. Come find me or call me at the same time, whatever, whatever. Anyway, fast forward. They were in the vehicle and they noticed something on, on the opposite side, on the passenger side of them, there was a vehicle where there were two little girls and a male. And, you know, something just didn't seem right to them. So they kept watching the guy, watching the car, watching the girls. Not obvious, but they paid attention to their surroundings. Um, when I came out, the, come out the, came out of Walmart, they said, Mommy, there was a car here, and I don't know if the guy was really their father or not, but something didn't seem right. So I said, okay, so what did you girls do? They said, we paid attention. We watched the body language of him, and we watched the body language of the girls. However, one of the little girls we couldn't really see, but she didn't seem really comfortable. And he was talking to them very mean, like uh, every time we go in a store and stuff and stuff, you, you act like this and we're not gonna have that, you know, saying whatever he was saying. So I said, okay, what does that tell you? What do you think about that? They said it's either he could be a strict father and or he was embarrassed and or he's not really their father. I said, okay, what do you do in this type of scenario? My girls already had a down pack. All three of them then took down the color of the vehicle, took down the license plates of the vehicle, the model of the vehicle, and they all can identify what the guy looked like. Mm -hmm. So there's stuff like that that is beneficial when you're teaching your children to know how to self-defense. When you're teaching your children self-defense. So I said, well, that's a good thing. So now you know if we get an alert on our phone or we see something on the news within the next five, ten minutes or so, you have you already have that you already have that information and we know what to do with that. Yep. So that right there was a proud moment because it was like, oh my God. Like I know my girls pay attention, but wow, like yeah, they really you paid attention. You don't expect your children to you actually don't. You know, when you tell them stuff, they're like, you, 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 you know they're listening, but yeah. they're, they're busy prancing and dancing and talking amongst each other. And it's like, hey, I'm talking, you know. Yeah, but they actually they really do pay were attention. paying attention. I, and yeah, I, I wasn't there. Um, but after my wife told me, I was like, oh, they yeah, do pay attention. It really caught me on fire. It was a so, real proud moment, though. Yeah, but that bottom line, train your children. Train them. Make sure they uh, know certain things. Um, not everybody has weapon sense. I mean, you can go take a firearm class, and once you learn to learn learn certain firearms, you go back and uh, you you know you teach your children certain ways. Always use dry fire first. Dry fire meaning you know BB gun or a yeah. weapon, but no no um, rounds in yeah, it, of course. Um, knife tech well. Talk. That's something else. But anyway, boy, boys or girls, just teach them. Cause pe kids are getting snatched, kidnapped, raped, alt, yeah. raped killed. Uh, you know, you already know what's the highest. Uh, uh, no, no. The, uh, they 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 getting kidnapped because uh, they go. The, the girls, yeah, um, human trafficking, or they getting kidnapped for body parts. I mean, their organs. Organs sell a lot on the. You know. That's that's a high uh, demanding um, uh, was it sale sale yeah, sales, yeah. I guess or whatever. <laughs> um, but teach your children how to do things. Just don't let and, them be on their phones. And when he said, as far as taking a gun safety class or whatever, that's something also we plan to do with our children when they're of age. Um, right now, legally, they cannot. Um, so when the time is right and they're able to, we will be taking them to classes and getting their certification and things like that. Even with uh, CPR classes. Um, oh yeah, yeah, we talked about that too. Yes, yes. We, we've done that yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> Again, like I said, I study medical, so I'm going to implement that on my children. I'm just, listen, they got to know everything just, just to be careful. You never know. If I'm not home and they need to tend to daddy in an emergency situation, they'll know how to respond and react. Um, not only that, we have family members with medical issues, so I think it's very important that my children know the signs and know how to respond to that as well. So even with CPR classes, I haven't I haven't take, taken them to a CPR class. Uh, they take they don't take that long. Um, I haven't taken them to a CPR class in my area because every time I asked, they would tell me that they wasn't of age. They had to be I think 16 and above or something like that. 
So I continuously keep asking. However, I did recently find a CPR class that will allow them to um, interact, but they cannot license them, which is fine. I'm okay with that. As long as they're getting that hands-on skill. Yeah, they get it at home, but I'm not a professional professional. I do have a license and I do have CPR BLS training in myself, but they need to get that licensing from the proper professionals. So that's something else we're going to be implementing with them too. What do you guys choose? What do you guys think about that? Again, the question is, is it too, what is the age appropriate to train your children on uh, self-defense and firearms? And is it wrong what we decided to do? What do mm -hmm. you think? How do you feel? Give us your, your feedback and give us some questions if you have any. And subscribe to the link below, even though there ain't no link, but there will be a link someday. So yeah, to subscribe, tell us, subscribe, you know, share, like, share, like and stuff like that. But don't be, uh, don't, don't, what's that? Don't criticize what okay. we do or judge or what other Not people do. Not just us, just people, people period. Yeah, that's judgment. what I just said. Yeah. Be open-minded. I said that. Oh, I said that. <laughs> Anywho. Um, so it was uh, nice sharing this uh, conversation with you guys. Um, uh, look out for more videos. There'll be another video. Actually, I think we should do one more video on another topic. But uh, it will be posted later on. This video most likely will be posted tonight. So, uh, well, morning for you guys out there. Night for, uh, not night for us, but daytime for you out guys out there. Um, other than that, have a good night. I mean, not a good night. I keep thinking this is night down there. Good day. night, morning, and good day. Good night, morning, <laughs> and day.